The coronavirus is, has limited where people can fly. There are now only 11 U.S. airports approved to accept incoming flights or passengers from China. Detroit Metro was one of them. As Contessa Brewer shows us, that's placing a strain on both airlines and passengers. It was a two and a half hour experience of feeling like a, a rat in a maze. A customs hassle for international businessman Ben Bickford, joining other foreigners arriving at JFK, some wearing masks, all facing questions about recent travel. We were asked about whether we've been to China, whether uh, there is someone else who came to my place, or did I interact with anyone who came from China when I boarded my flight in Mumbai, as well as when I landed here in New York. Overseas, the airlines are responsible for the first step of enforcing the new sweeping travel restrictions, checking passports or digital itineraries for ties to China, possibly facing fines if passengers slip through. She is very concerned because she feel very uh, panic uh, yes, when the threat and everything. Uh -huh. Because yeah. we don't know that uh -huh. what's going on over there. The fear is now infecting even those dropping off international travelers and airport workers themselves, who told CNBC they've been cautioned to protect themselves with masks and gloves. Three U.S. airlines have suspended service to and from China, United, American and Delta, which hasn't scheduled its service again until the end of April. And the list of other countries with travel restrictions is long and growing, which means delays at departures and arrivals, missing and rebooking flights. I've already spent more than a thousand U.S. dollars uh, just in this visa process and with the delays that I've experienced since yesterday. And I slept on benches inside Frankfurt Airport last night to deal with this. That businessman also saying he thinks remote conferencing will see a big boom because of this hassle. If that happens, it's likely to hurt the airline's financial picture even more. Around 5,000 people are being quarantined on two cruise ships in Asia because of concerns over the coronavirus. The worry is that passengers and crew on the ships off of Hong Kong and Japan were inadvertently exposed to the coronavirus by infected passengers. Health screenings are taking place on both ships. The coronavirus has infected more than 20,000 people in mainland China and almost 200 worldwide. To date, nearly 500 people have died.